everyone. So I have this dishwasher. Um, we've Boy, had it since about 2000, um, and it is a Kenmore Elite. The problem I'm having right Daddy, now is that. we just replaced the heating element in the bottom of the dishwasher, and um, since they don't make the part anymore, this is it. Um, they are now um, from the parts place, uh, it's FSP is your parts company where everything comes from anymore, um, also included this control board. And this is the original control board. I put the control board in it that came with the heating element. Um, these are the models that um, are getting the new parts from FSP. It's a Kenmore Elite dishwasher and it is not showing me my digital readout and as you can see that white film that's in there has started to accumulate since we changed out the heating element and the control panel. So one of the problems I'm having with this control panel unit that I installed is right here is supposed to be a timer readout and it's not showing me anything. Um, it seems to be doing everything else on the washing machine as it's supposed to but it's not going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this on on a wash cycle and follow me downstairs Whoa, because I can't see myself. we have to cut the power at the fuse box so that we do not get an electrical shock. Whoa. I have one of those houses that all the light fixtures are as you enter the room. And this is the room that YouTube has not seen before. Um, this is our kids playroom and there are toys everywhere. So I've got this handy little control panel for our whole house fuse. And I'm just listening upstairs. Okay. So the washer shut off. Jack was letting us know what other lights were going off. I was shutting off the power strips, honey. Okay, so we're just verifying that the power is off. There's nothing when you push any of the buttons. So we did successfully kill the power. And on most of these dishwashers, you can use um, one of those, uh, I don't know really what you call them, but it's like an Allen wrench, but it's star-shaped. Um, this is it. You can see it's just... Uh, not quite the octagon shape, but it's more like a star. I don't know what size this is because it's not marked. So what I'm going to do... Okay, so now you're going to use... Um, I have this nut driver with these tools, and we're going to see which one fits the screws. I'll try this. That one's too big. Okay, so this says it's a T15. Again, I'm not real sure what the tool is called, but it's like a star-shaped bit. There's six screws holding this control panel on. You don't have to take the whole cover off of the dishwasher. And this is something that I knew how to do um, for anybody who's, you know, wondering about fixing their dishwasher on their own. Um, you know, it's just like with my washing machine. I have just had enough with calling appliance repair guys. Sears has been out for this dishwasher about six different times. Um, it's been something different uh, every time. And uh, we had the five-year warranty on it, and now things like I don't know if we actually.
actually got it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You need to take this in the other room, honey pie. But, with the extended warranty and the cost of having the interior stainless steel tub and everything, we had paid about $900 for this dishwasher, and it would just seem like that it would last longer than, um, you know, seven years or eight or ten years. Um, I've seen houses where people's dishwasher have been in there for 20 or 30 years. We just want to give Trace something else to do that's not noisy. So while I was getting that out, um, you can see this just popped right out. Okay, so I had the baby in his baby seat and it wasn't quite working out. So I just want to show you um, how this hooks up. There is a um, ribbon and it's an electrical attachment. right here so there's that one there's these two attachments right here and something that I remembered about doing this um, before was one of these parts on here have to transfer to the um, new new piece so you want to disconnect all of the attachments and remember where they went. So we're just taking them all off. Some of them are a little bit tricky. This is your door latch uh, wire that's still attached. Um, and I'm just pulling back some levers in here that are holding, they're like bracket levers. And you don't want to break your parts because they're going to hold in your new part also. Because having to buy the whole front cover it's not cheap, but if you did have problems, you could always maybe buy a broken down one off of Craigslist, um, which is how I got my dish racks replaced. They were starting to go bad. I'm just going to have to use this a little bit to get that off. Here we go. I just couldn't push it enough. I needed a little bit of leverage. There we go. So here's your um, part. And this is the aftermarket part that they had sent me. And here's the original. The original's on top. And the only thing that um, was a huge difference that I was seeing was... Um, and you don't want to actually touch this because it's metal and you don't want to get uh, something shorted out. There are these three prongs here and four prongs here. And on the old one, there are four prongs and four prongs. So what, what I'm going to do is, um, this piece here has to come off. And we're going to put that back on the original. And it just slides on. You can see there's um, an electrode there. So I'm going to clip it back on. And I just put this piece right back into place. Now that's back in there secure. 
you're going to want to reconnect everything that you pulled off. There are the two black connectors, the small white connector that kind of looks like a foam plug, this white one here, and if it doesn't go on, don't force it, you might have it backwards, and then we've got these two that hook right here. So the reason I'm switching this back to the original is um, the only problem we were having with the dishwasher before um, my repair was that the, the um, dishes weren't getting dry and after the repair I started getting this white build up and I didn't really understand why they were sending the extra part except for that it had something to do with the um, uh, electronic digital monitoring and that the time was a little too long possibly on the dishwasher which you know that's how we noticed that the dish um, dishwasher wasn't drying is that all of a sudden it was taking um, like three hours to run a load of dishes and I just thought I can have that load of dishes hand washed in you know maybe 30 35 minutes and just let them air dry so um, I didn't really feel like spending all that time washing and drying the dishes with this piece of equipment here and you have to remember also that the screws that you're putting in are going into plastic don't touch anything don't touch anything okay no don't touch anything so here I'm just putting these screws right back in So the thing you want to remember is these screws are going into um, plastic and you don't want to over tighten them because you'll just break the plastic um, screw anchors right off. But you want to get them in so that the um, dishwasher shuts properly. As well, it would seem like if you uh, open up your dishwasher too many times that eventually the screw holes would be stripped. Okay. Oh yes, Trey. Trey likes to help with the dishwasher. He's very good at unloading. He takes one out and gives it to me. I got this one screw giving me a little bit of a problem. Okay, so all my screws are back in and it's back on. So let's turn the power on at the fuse box. So here we go. Hi guys. Everyone's playing Sado and getting Bubba stuff out. We call Stiffy Cups Bubba's in this house because nobody ever really had baby bottles because of the nursing, so it's all Bubba's. So, back on. Close this back up. We keep a latch on it for safety. And it's a spring-loaded latch so that the kids can't open it up. Don't want to have problems with that. So back up the steps. Trey, why don't you come into the kitchen, honey? Mm -hmm. Hold on just a minute, please. Yeah, just a minute. So now the dishwasher is running. And we'll see how it does with the original part back in it. <laughs> 